Well, hello and welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name's Carrie, and today we're revisiting the wax seals. Uh, these little random star guys I got off of Amazon. Um, they are not flexible wax. Uh, they are just regular uh, brittle wax. But I thought I would play around with mixing up uh, some colors. I uh, posted some photos on my Instagram and people had a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about how I mixed them. So I thought I'd throw together this quick little guy um, so that you could all take a look. So for these ones, I literally just took a white um, piece of wax and a purple piece of wax and melted them together. Um, mixing waxes. Uh, it looks much better if you have contrasting colors, um, as you'll see in a moment uh, when I use two that aren't as contrasting, um, because with contrasting colors, obviously they pop and you can see them much better. Um, and then from there, you just do a normal wax seal. Um, I have done a full video of that before. I'll link it in the iCard. It's actually my most popular video ever on my channel, which I find very funny, um, but I love it. Um, so that one clearly was purple and white. Now I'm diving into something that you all are probably familiar with already, and that is Gerbin, um uh, supple wax. So it makes it easier to put them through the mail. Um, I'm just cutting off a little piece of the silver and gold. That way I can melt them down just like I did with the uh, stars, the purple and white stars. Um, and it's a lot easier to uh, mix the two together and melt them together uh, at the same temperature and all that kind of stuff um, if they're just in little pieces. Um, and it's hard to do that if you're just kind of like melting the individual stick. Um, so uh, doing the same principle, um, melting them together. I'm going to pour them together um, and then do the exact same thing. Um, this time I chose to use colors that are closer together. They're not as contrasting the silver and gold, um, even though you would think that they would be, um, by the time that they melt down, they do mix together much more. Um, and while you still can see the different colors, um, it is, uh, more muddled. So unlike the purple and the white, which stand out pretty much instantly from far away you know there's no confusing the two uh, these two colors definitely uh, meld together and become a little bit more muddied uh, than the purple and white um, here i definitely dripped wax in uh, underneath the spoon so it definitely got a little too hot as you can see by those bubbles um, it doesn't really hurt the wax it's not really burnt in the sense that like it's going to be like dark brown or, or black. Um, it's just that it, it is quite hot. That wax is very, very hot. So when I put the seal on, you'll actually see that I got a little stuck. And because it got stuck, um, what I did was I left the seal there uh, a little bit longer to cool down together. Um, this particular one is a Game of Thrones seal that I got uh, from just like my local bookstore. Um, so it has very deep ridges on the sides. So I left it there and decided to show you guys actually how I clean the spoon, which is just while the wax is hot, uh, I just get a Kleenex, paper towel, regular towel, anything really, and just wipe it out. Um, the spoon being metal does get very hot, so be careful when you do that, um, but it wipes away super clean, no problem. So now that it is much cooler, um, I'm figuring out where the best point to peel it off is and it comes out just fine. Um, so if you can let the wax cool a little bit, you won't have that problem, um, but it's, it's still pretty uh, easy to fix it. And then the third way that I attempted is the old fashioned way to just kind of rotate the wax over top of the candle. Um, I, to be honest, hate this method. Uh, I don't hate many things, but I hate this one. I have zero control over it. Um, while I do tend to use more wax uh, than I need to with the spoon method, to me it's much cleaner. It makes a much uh, better seal, in my opinion. Um, this, I just feel like I'm rushed. I just, I don't execute it very well. I've seen those who can. I am not one of those people. This is not my strong suit. Um, so I don't really ever do it this way. Um, it's just not my thing. As you can see here, it dripped already into the candle itself. It just doesn't melt the same way. Uh, you just kind of smear it around. It just, I, I don't like it. 
but I thought I would give it another try for uh, this video anyway. The upside to that method uh, is that there is nothing to clean after and you do use less ink. And by ink, <laughs> I mean wax. And I was going to do two and try and mix the colors, um, but I just couldn't, so I just stuck with the one. So this is my final result here for the purple and white one. I very much like this color. Um, the uh, contrast is much better. Like I said, the gold and the uh, silver you can see, but mm, not my favorite. Um, so it's very simple to mix wax colors. Um, I encourage you to give it a try um, and let me know what you think. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Check out this little slow-mo here of me <laughs> lighting the candle. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all of the things that all of the YouTubers tell you guys to do. <laughs> do them all. And as always, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching again, guys. Stay safe, stay inside, and uh, until next time. All right. Bye-bye.